XP gamers and welcome to another edition of Minecraft Mod Library. This is Altaren and today I'm bringing you a really awesome mod again. This one I'm very fond of as we are looking into some new ways to defend ourselves. The reason for that I will explain to you at a later date. But this is a really cool mod. It comes from the same author as the Tornado and Weather mod. So if we go ahead climb up this ladder here and venture our way into this little fortress up to the research tower, I'm going to show you exactly what we have developed, what has been developed in our ever-ending attempt to defend ourselves from the zombies. In this chest, you will see some leather, redstone, and diamond. These are the things you will be needing in order to make the particle glove, which is what this mod is for, and you're also going to need a lot of food. So it's not terribly expensive. One diamond, kind of hard to find, but you should be able to get by. Three redstone and four leather. And that gives you the particle glove. Now the reason you're going to want food is because the effects that the particle glove has actually makes your hunger bar go down a lot faster than it usually would. So you're definitely going to want to keep up on your food. Otherwise you won't be able to use the glove at all. Now, what the Particle Glove does is it gives you the ability to control your sprite particles that are in the game naturally. So, say you walk over here to this torch right here, and you can see that it has the fire sprite going on. Now, if I right-click on it, you can see the little gauge on the bottom of the screen is filling up with red, and my hunger bar is going down very fast. <clears throat> but it allows me to take in the particles. Now once I have absorbed the particles, I am able to use them. I can shoot them out forward like that, and if there's enemies in front of me, it will actually hit them and do damage and catch them on fire. Now the particle glove uses three different kinds of particles. It uses the fire particle, redstone particle, and water particles. And you have to absorb all of them from the three different sources. Now for redstone, you can actually absorb it from not just torches, but if there's redstone on the ground that's active, you can absorb it from that. Or redstone repeaters, anything that's generating that redstone particle that you can see above the torch, it will allow you to, you know, pull in the particles. As for the water ones, you know, as long as you're near standing water or wa any water in general, you'll be able to absorb the particle from that. Now to switch modes when you're using the, the particle glove, you just hit the K button and it will drop you down to the next selection. So like I'm on redstone now, so I'm trying to absorb redstone. And actually, when your hunger reaches three, you'll no longer be able to absorb any particles. So you will have to eat in order to replenish your strength so that you can continue using the mighty powers of the glove. And I'm gonna continue to absorb. Awesome. Because I definitely want to show you all the awesome things. K again. And that will let you absorb the water particles. It could be a long process, you know, depending on what you're trying to get. Redstone seems to take the longest, but it's also the most powerful one. All right. Now that we're all full, we're all filled up on our goods, let's go ahead and check out some of the really cool things that you can do with this. I'll show you the water one first because the water one is kind of more of a defensive ability than anything else. Go ahead and eat something. It does a little bit of damage if you hit something with it, but if you right click, it actually projects you forward or it actually projects you in the direction that you're facing. So like if you jump up and press it, it'll shoot you up a little bit. You know, it's kind of a cool way to travel. You want to get somewhere fast. Oh. Ooh. Like so. And fire, it just sends fire out. It'll catch the enemy on fire and it'll do a little bit of knockback, but not very much. Redstone, it does the most damage and it does the most knockback as well. It'll actually send the enemies flying pretty far, and I'll display that here in just a minute. Now the other awesome thing that you can do, and you can do it with all three particles, is you can actually create yourself a little force field around your player. So I'll hit F5 so you can see. If you press the L key, you'll hear that little sound and it'll put out a couple sparkles there. If you continue to press the L key, 
it will generate more. Now, the really cool thing about this is you can actually put out as much as you have in your gauge, along with the fact that you can actually put all three of them out at the same time. So you can have a force field made of all three of the particles that are in your glove as long as you have enough ammo for them, pretty much. And the force field, it is basically the effect of that particle if you were attacking with it, but it just stays around you. So it's a really nice thing to have, like say if you're mining or if you're just kind of standing still or AFK, it will deflect monsters away from you. And the other neat thing too is if you hold the shift button while you have a shield out and you right click, it sends out a shockwave. And they all come back to you. Now, whenever you want to pull the force field back in, all you have to do is hit shift L and it will absorb all of the particles back into the glove. The other nice thing too is just because you sent out the particle, it doesn't mean that it's lost. If a particle does not make contact with the target, it will simply come back to you and be reabsorbed back into your glove. So like I can shoot this up, all of these, all over the place, and you can see they just kind of shoot around and come right back to me. Now that nightfall is approaching, I'm actually going to go ahead and we'll take a look at some of the really cool combat that you can do with this. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and throw out some zombies <coughs> and show you what the different ones can do. So if I throw two zombies, I'm on the fire one and I'm going to uh, light them on fire. But you can see the knockback on that is very minimal, so there's a very good possibility of them, you know, getting to you and catching you on fire because that happens now. So it's definitely a risky venture to use the fire one all that much. Go ahead and go to redstone, spawn a couple more zombies. And as you can see, the knockback on that one is extremely, extremely a lot more stronger. <laughs> awesome. Super awesome. And the water one, it doesn't have knockback really it's knockback is kind of reverse since it sends you backwards and not the actual monster and it does very minimal damage i think it does like maybe one heart it's the water particle is really just an assist kind of ability it's not really used for attacking now the other thing i want to do is i'm going to go ahead and throw out some more zombies i'm going to put them out here so they can kind of come at me because i'm going to go ahead and do uh, ah. Inside of my barrier. You cannot have me. Okay. Alright, I got my barrier up. If I crouch. Nice. And that's the particle hand glove and all of its amazing powers. That is what it is capable of doing. It's really strong. <laughs> it is very strong, but it's kind of one of those things where you kind of feel like you're invincible and then something kills you, which I've actually had happen a number of times while using this, so don't get ahead of yourself while you're using this mod. You are just as vulnerable as you ever were to all the monsters and all the lands, especially skeletons, because skeletons will snipe you faster than you can blink. But that aside, that is the particle gun, particle hand, particle glove. It's pretty awesome. It's actually really awesome. It's my favorite for sure. Ugh. So much awesome. Anyway, that's it for me. And support your local modders. Like and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.